It's the most wonderful time of the year. No, it's it's not Christmas, but it is the Sephora sale. So ride your desire for me. Hey y'all, I am heading to the mall. Today is the first day of the Sephora VIB, uh, the savings event that happens twice a year. Uh, so I ready, uh, I purchased my products for pickup. So I'm gonna go in, pick those up, and then just peruse because there was some other things that I am interested in getting. Um, I'll take you guys along and then uh, do a full sit down of what I get and some of my recommendations. All right, let's go. And I know I look crazy, but don't worry. I'll be all gussied up when I come back to sit in front of y'all. and blessed ones it is Marsha Gauntlet Kirby and welcome back to the channel first I would like to just thank everyone that showed love commented on my last video um, if you watched it you know that I uh, passed my LSW exam licensed social worker exam it's also called the LMSW um, if you didn't watch it well the cat is out the bag honey okay but thank you so much I appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much Okay, now, it is the Sephora sales event. It happens uh, twice a year. They'll throw, uh, I know, judging from last year, they'll throw in uh, a few more discounts throughout the year. Last year, I think I received like a 20%, like I think New Year's Eve or the day before New Year's Eve or something like that. But these are, uh, the Sephora sales event usually happens twice a year, once in April and once um, in November. I remember when it was only November and then they opened it up to, um, uh, to, uh, they opened up a spring sale. Anywho, I am, I don't know how I got there. I am VIB Rouge. Anywho, I was able to shop the first day of the sale. The sale runs from November 1st through November 11th. Uh, Rouge members start the first day of the sale going all the way until the end. VIB Rouge and VIB Insiders start November 5th. Rouge members, we get 20%. Um, uh, VIB... Um, yeah, VIB, VIB members, is that what I'm, is that right? VIB members get 15% and then uh, insiders get 10%, but I will have all of that in the description box below. All right, I had already started loading my cart. Uh, a lot of things are repurchase repurchases. I usually only shop, this is why I don't know how I became VIB Rouge, because I usually only shop, do my big shopping twice a year during the sales. And then throughout the year, I'll just, um, you know, if I need like cotton pads or smaller items, I will pick those up. But anyway, um, this is when I really do the bulk of my shopping. So I repurchase a lot of my Holy Grails and I did pick up some new things that I want to try. I've already started. I picked up my stuff on Friday. I loaded my cart. 12 o'clock, 12 a.m. Because I was up, I hit submit, was able to get to the store November 1st, and which was yesterday, and I um, already started trying some products. Um, but we'll go through that. So I'm going to start with the haul, and then I'm going to go into um, my recommendations. Okay, Th this is like one of 
This is the big bag, but I have like three smaller bags. It's, it, it's a mess. Okay, up first, if you guys watch my, um, uh, I, I need to do another one. Well, I should have done another one before this. I have been doing beauty videos, uh, quarterly beauty videos. I mentioned this Nutrafol, the hair drops. I'm not gonna take it out of the box. This is a smaller one. I usually, I, I have the bigger one. I've already went through two bottles of the bigger one, but I tried, I'm gonna try the small one only because I have a little bit more left in uh, the bottle upstairs. That one is $69, this is $49. I get 20% off of it. I figure by the time I get through that, it'll probably be December, and then I can go into this one earlier in the new year. Uh, and I just didn't wanna miss the sale because I don't know if Nutrafol, Nutrafol, itself uh, has sales. I'm not sure, I didn't want to chance it. Uh, this is for hair growth. I've been uh, popping it on, popping it on. Uh, putting it on my scalp to uh, vitalize my follicles. I do have, you know, I'm getting older, I'm in my 40s, and I do have, um, that's hereditary. Uh, well, yeah, hereditary, uh, yeah, and of course, some of my own doing. Uh, thinning edges, so I just put it around my edges and put it in the middle here, which is where I think I'm, I have, um, most of the thinning. Oh, you can also get the vitamins on Sephora as well. Um, my bestie did give me, gifted me a um, bottle, which I still have. I don't know, I mm, I prefer the drops. You, you put them on overnight. The pills, I, there are three pills that you gotta swallow, so I'm on and off with that. Okay, this is a repurchase, but I, I purchased the Skin Fix Barrier Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. If you, Skin Fix makes products for sensitive skin. These products are amazing. I was dibbling and dabbling with the samples and said, let me just bite the bullet and get the larger, the, the actual container, which was about 50 something dollars, uh, but it was well worth it. You, This line, is that how you say it? This line, this, this blue, it's like a lighter blue, lighter blue line, it is for moisturizing. So I, this, huh, Listen, winter time. I do also love my um, Biosance. I, I've been rocking with that for a while, but I decided to try this and this is really, I think this is really good. I think this actually maybe tops the Biosance. So I repurchase, they have a refill, which is great. So I don't have to buy another 50 something dollar bottle. Even though this is kind of pricey as well, it's about $46. That's why I picked it up now during the sale and I would just pop it in here. But this has really, this is a recommendation. This has really, especially if you have dry skin, sensitive skin. My skin is not sensitive, but um, again, because I'm older um, and we're going into the colder months, I, I love hydration. I need dewy, I need all of that, okay? So this gives that to me. Okay, I purchased this once before. I got way, I, I remember liking it. I got through half of it and then it sat and now it is, um, it expired. So I'm gonna try this one more time. Uh, I was using an oil from a Korean brand. Now I don't remember. I can't remember what the brand is, what the brand name is. But I'm not really, I'm not really a big big fan. I use it just to use it. So I'm going back to this Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm uh, as like the the first step in my cleansing routine, especially when I'm wearing makeup or the days when I'm really, because uh, there are days when I I reapply my sunscreen multiple from out multiple times a day. So I want to get everything off. So I'm going to re. I I remember liking it. So I'm going to rock out with this again and uh, we'll see. Try to use up the whole bottle this time. And this is a glass jar, which I like. Most of what you'll see in this video uh, are clean beauty products. I am a clean beauty product advocate, but not only clean beauty products, there are certain, uh, outside of the uh, ingredients that they don't include in clean beauty products, I don't use anything with alcohol. I don't use anything with alcohol or fragrance on my skin. Um, it is particularly irritating to brown skin. There are some exceptions and I'm going to go into that a little later. All right, I was telling y'all that I don't use anything with alcohol, uh, mostly. Mostly my products don't have any alcohol in it. They don't have any fragrance in it. I was battling, um, I don't have sensitive skin like I said. I do have, uh, I just came out the womb with just a very highly allergic body. Uh, anyway. Um, allergic to certain type. I could only take certain um, pain medications. And anywho, I was battling with something weird growing on my skin. Um, and the doctor was like, cut out gluten, cut out this, which I don't really eat anyway, but I had started to introduce some, um, you know, uh, regular flour and stuff like that back into my diet. Anywho, all that to say, I cut out uh, alcohol and um, fragrance from my products and that, whatever that was was growing on my skin, it went away. All that being said, 
These Dr. Dennis Growth Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel, th this has alcohol. But honey, if you want some transform transform skin, okay? <laughs> I only picked up one um, packet, one the small packet. This is like twenty dollars. Five of these come in this packet. So what I have done now, because this is something that they say you can use every night, every other night. I usually use it. I was down to once a week, and now it's probably like every. I want to say maybe every two to three weeks I'll use one of these when I want to have. I don't know if I want to look like I had a chemical peel. Okay, chemical peel, not with the, like the burns and stuff on your skin, but chemical peel, just like a whole new face. The oh my goodness me, it's a two-step system. This is five. This is the this is there. There's one for sensitive skin. This is the one for I, I want to say normal. Is this is that right? Normal skin, and then there is one that um it goes the extra step for people who have been doing this for years. It's an advanced an advanced treatment. But th these are really, really good. So this is the exception to my routine. Okay, this will be another recommendation. Uh, I'm gonna go through the my other rec which I didn't repurchase. I'm looking at them right now because I already have um, I already have stuff that I need to use up. But this I have I have it's totally done. I've spoken about this before. The bottle I should have brought the other bottle down. It, it's empty. This is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. This is actually quite popular over YouTube or on YouTube. You have to shake it. But if you want glowy skin, if you want moisturized skin, you put this on either under or over your moisturizer. Girl, and it's a, I just love that you, you've given me a glass jar, okay? This product is phenomenal. Actually, I really like Merit products. I mean, Merit, if you're watching, I am open, okay? I am open to being an ambassador. I, I, I am open, okay? <laughs> Let's do a collaboration. Anyway, this is the Merit Glow Skin. This is a necessity in my uh, winter routine. I even used it a bit um, during the summer when we were going, it, it was still cool going into the summer months, but it, it was very hydrating, but repurchase, okay? So I, when I was looking, uh, looking to repurchase that, I saw that this popped up. It is the Merit Great Skin. It's like a priming moisturizer. I don't know, it interests me. Like I said, I really do like Merit products. I have a few things from them. So I'm gonna try this. This is a try and we'll see how this works. Can you guys see it? Yeah, let's see how this works. All right, the Pure Skin Face Cleaner by First Aid Beauty is a holy grail for me. I've been using this for over, how old are my kids? Maybe it's like the last 15 years. This this is really good, and I'm I used to buy the smaller bottle, which used the smaller the smaller tube that used to get me through a full year. But now my 12 year old, who is now you know she's now in puberty, she's breaking out. Um, this is it's for sensitive skin. This removes everything. Like if I if it's a light day for me, I'm not having because I don't beat my face every day. But this removes everything. Even if I have on light makeup and I just use this by itself everything comes off um, without my skin feeling stripped. This is a very good, pro if you're looking for a new cleanser to try, this is a very good product. You know, I don't know if this is marketed as clean. I don't remember. Anyway, it's a very good product. I just went into the store and picked up my cotton pads because I love these. I also love the ones by Shiseido. I am going to pick those up. Those are only $12, so you're getting what? Uh, three or so dollars off of that. I do get paid this coming week, so I'm gonna pick up more of these because we go through these really quickly and I'm gonna pick up some more of the uh, uh, shishado. The shishado lasts longer because it's a bigger uh, packet, uh, but these are a must have. And this is, did I say this is a Sephora brand cotton swab? I tested this product last, during the sale last year. I bought like a smaller tube and I really liked it. It was very hydrating, very moisturizing. So I picked up another bottle. This is by the Inky List. It's the Bioactive Ceramide Repairing and Plumping Moisturizer. I actually picked this up for, because you know, I can't, this this is 40 something dollars. Anyway, I picked, I, I'm a sucker for more, for, I'm a sucker for uh, toners and a sucker for moisturizers. Give me a good, nice, thick, um, moisturizer because winter I just I really need my skin to stay just stay on point during the winter months uh, anyway I picked this up to use and also for my daughter to use uh, she does use um, in the summertime we were using the it's like a gel moisturizer which work well uh, for us in the summertime this is more uh, this is more thick more moisturizing so uh, we're going to try her and try her with this but I'm also going to use it myself I have two new moisturizers, more moisturizers that I've picked up. I have, I've been looking at a few other um, 
clean beauty YouTubers uh, or um, creatives, influencers, and this Alpine Beauty was popping up a lot. This was expensive. It was, ooh, it was expensive, it was $62 before the sale. Um, so I am going to try it only because I've heard great things about it. And like I said, I'm a sucker for a glass jar. This is the, did I say this? Alpine Beauty Super Peptide and Ghostberry Barrier Repair Cream. There was another product that I wanted to use from this line. It, it, oh my God, I think it was a cold cream. Oh my God, how nostalgic. I remember using cold creams back in the day and just seeing my mother use them. So I use them, but uh, the cold cream had, um, I think it had fragrance or something. I was like, yeah, no. Uh, this was uh, clean, no fragrance, no no alcohol in it. So I'm gonna try this and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna see how it compares to my Skin Fix Moisturizer. This one, I already know. I picked this up because this one I saw across uh, the internet. And uh, this is a Lawless Forget the Filler Skin Plumping and Smoothing Perfecting Cream. I do have a few Lawless products. Um, Notably, I have their matte foundation, which I really like during the warmer months. I picked this up, uh, but I already used it last night and it, it just it didn't do what it was supposed to do. So I'm going to I'm going to return this. So these are the only two hair products I picked. Well, I didn't pick up, but I'm going to show you. Um, they're both, of course, recommendations. This is the Briojo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection Heat Protectant. I use this on both mine and my daughter's hair when it's time to blow dry. I blow dried it last is this a blow dry no this is just a yeah i blow dried it the week before last i love this stuff um it's only about 26 dollars, but i figure i pick it up now during the sale and sephora is now carrying melanin products um this is the only one that's look this crappy this is the only one that i um have continued to use the shampoo i love this stuff i actually went into ulta to find it last week when i got paid last week Whatever. Anyway, I went into Ulta to try to get some more because this is the end of like, you can even see it. It's, um, it's been sitting there for a while and a little goes a long way. I mean, we've had this for like, a, I think over a year and I use it on my, on all three of us, mine, my daughters and, um, and my daughters, my little and my big hair. Uh, this is so good. When I went into Ulta, even the, uh, the young lady who was helping me, she had straight hair and she was like, the salon owner uses this on everybody's, all textures, everything, everybody's hair because of the invigoration, it cleanses the scalp, very good. And for me, it's, I think this is marketed as clarifying, again, cleansing the scalp, but this is also very moisturizing to me or on my hair. This is definitely a product recommendation um, if you're looking to try this um, or you will need to repurchase. Uh, Sephora is now carrying it. Uh, this is an old bottle. The new bottle is on its way to me because they, were, they didn't carry it in stores. I, have to, I had to order it online. Okay, last for uh, skincare, this is the quarterly uh, spray. This is the grape water spray, sorry. I purchased the bigger uh, bottle or container last year and I still have a good bit left. I'm just going to play around, not play around, I'm going to use the smaller container and see what happens. And watch this year, of course, I go through the whole, I go through the whole thing. But this is just very, it's uh, for sensitive skin, if you wanna hydrate your skin, when I really use it in the winter, when, um, cause you know, now the heat is on, when you just, when you're in the house and you just feel, it feels, your face just feels dry. The air just feels dry and you just wanna um, spray this over just to re-moisturize your face. Also, this is good um, under makeup, moisturize your face and then start your um, makeup routine. Or even, I don't think as a setting spray, but I have sprayed it on after I have um, put on, especially when it's like, the air is like really, really dry. Uh, I have put it on after I have set after I have put on my face. Not too much on makeup. I am really, um, I still have things that I am going through. They have, you know, they're still, the shelf life is still good. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to try the, cause I, I, I think I said this in the uh, videos past. I am now into bronzers. I don't know what happened. I do have a uh, NARS bronzer. Uh, I, I, have, I have a NARS bronzer, which I really like. It is, it's at end of life, but December's coming up and I have, um, I have a, I've had a PR discount for years and they give me 40% at the end of the year. So I will repurchase that at the end of the year. It's really, really good. I probably should have brought it down as a recommendation, but anyway, I want, it's a cream bronzer, but I wanted to try a liquid bronzer. Um, I do have, I like say beauty. I have a few things from them. This is liquid. So I went into the store thinking I was one color. I think that was Stinson and child, that thing blended right into my skin. They need to do a, do a better job of darker colors, but we're gonna try this because I just want something I could just pop on and then blend out. Uh, this is the color Sale. 
This is a repurchase, but I didn't get through. I don't know what's going on. I didn't, because I don't beat my face every day, but I um, repurchased the LYS Natural Finish Skin Loyalty. This is a setting spray. I really love LYS. It's black owned. LYS as a brand. Um, I love Ami Cole as a brand that's also black owned. So I, um, and this is their products. I'm getting a glare. Oh boy. Their products are um, clean. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to use it more often. Um, I guess that would require bleeding my face uh, more often, but the holidays are coming up. So, you know, it's gonna be a full look, full beat. So I am going to, um, yeah, I'm going to try this again. If I feel like I'm not, because I, honestly, the last one I just threw out, I think I only use up to this much within a year so we're gonna see if i can get through this one uh this year but i remember really liking this but we're gonna we're gonna test and see and then i'll come back with my quarterly my quarterly videos uh or quarterly updates on my beauty products and then let you guys know say beauty moisture i mean i'm not moisturizer concealer uh i never used to be a big concealer person i do have my nars concealer that is holy grail ride or die um i put that because i do have dark areas from this chin hair, uh, you know, from the peak, uh, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome and I had hair, it's calmed down a lot now, but I still have the dark marks, so I'll pop that on. It's very, it matches into my skin like nobody's business. And then sometimes I'll put some under here. I did want to try, cause NARS is not, NARS is not market, it's not an, a clean beauty brand, but I do like it because of the ingredients. Again, no alcohol, no fragrance, and I've been using it for a year, and it's just really tried and true, ride or die, and I will continue to use it. Anyway, I did want to try um, a clean concealer to wear under my eye. This is a little, I wanted something brightening, so a little lighter to go under my eyes. Uh, I was using the one from Kofi, and I liked it well enough. I just feel like the undertone, I couldn't find the right undertone for under my eyes. So we're gonna try this one. This is in number six. I originally picked up the five um, because I did a purchase and pick up in the store and that was way too light. So we're gonna see how this works. All right, my boo, Danessa Myricks. Now I have tried a few, just a few things from hers. This is the one thing that I've, I've been trying over and over. They don't have my color. Um, anyway, these are um, these color fix, I, how do you say this? These, these color fix thingies, I don't even know, these little tubes. So she has a range of colors in these things. There was one that I was using, I could use it on my eyes, my, um, and that's what it's marketed for, to use on your eyes, your lips, your cheeks. Um, I personally wouldn't use this on my cheeks, me, I couldn't, on my lips. I did try it on my eyes yesterday, oh my gosh, it is amazing. It, the color payoff is just so beautiful. Oh, it matches my nails. Anyway, um, so I picked this up. I did, um, I went to per repurchase the other one that I usually use. I've been using for like a couple years now and it was not there. I guess she got rid of it. So I'm going to, um, we're going to play around with this because as I get, oh, actually no, I've always liked this. I was going to say as I get older. Well, I don't really put on, um, I used to back in the day, beat my whole face, do my eyes. Remember we used to cut the crease and we used to put color, three colors. Yeah, I don't do all that anymore. I don't have the, I just really don't have the time. But I do like a pop, a little pop of color on my lid. Uh, so I'm going to, and purple, I love purple on dark skin or brown skin, purple, teals, teals, greens, and blues, okay? And then I picked up this one. I wanted uh, something matte and something dark and that would last. I went into the store and put the, oh my goodness me, look, look at this. Look, look at that, look. So yeah, we're gonna be rocking out with this for the next uh, year. Well, these two for the next year. Okay, next up is the Kosas Brow Pop. This is the one that I'm working with now. It's almost done. I This was a recommendation um, from one of the reps when I went into the store and I am so in love with this. Actually, the rep, there was another rep there yesterday and she was saying it's just, it's becoming a cult fave. It's very good. I really don't have any eyebrows. This is an illusion child with this um, brow pop, okay? Um, I really should look into, what is it called? The, when you color in the brows. I don't remember what it's called, but I think I'm gonna look into that this coming here. Anyway, this is doing a very good job of making me look like I have eyebrows, okay? This is in brown black. I did repurchase. I would recommend this, especially if you have fine brows, you don't have any brows. It has a, it's like a slanted tip, but it's very small. So you can really get in there and draw perfect as you like. When I was looking at the Kosas, uh, the brow pop, 
I saw that they um, have gel liners and then I was watching the Clean Beauty Code and she spoke about the, um, I already had it in my cart, but she spoke about how really good the liners are. And then the rep in store, the closest rep within Sephora were saying that the liners are really, really good. So I picked up three of them. I picked up, I was just saying that I love color on that, you know, that little line of color on my eyelids. I picked up, it's, it, this is a blue, but it looks more like a teal. Can you guys see that? I picked that up. I picked up a brown, is this the one? I picked up a brown uh, eyeliner because brown is uh, not as stark as black, more for everyday use. Um, I never, I don't know, I've, I could never get into brown liners, but I have one from Tower Beauty that I've been using on and off. So I'm gonna play around with this one. And then of course I got black uh, because black is, black liner is my go-to, um, especially when I'm doing a full beat. So I picked that up and we're gonna see how these work. I picked up again from Say, I probably should put this all together, but I picked up this sun visor. I saw sun visor, it has SPF 35 sunscreen. The sunscreens I usually use, they don't, well, no. The, my main, my main ones, the sun, most of the sunscreens I use don't come from Sephora. I do use one from Super Group, from Super Goop. It is the mattifying one, but that's really mainly for the warmer months. So I don't need that now. I was watching another YouTuber uh, or influencer and she was recommending the Say Sun Visor Broad Spectrum SPF 35. She said it's like, it's hydrating and it's like a primer. So I wish, I actually picked this, up in the, picked this one up in the store yesterday, but when I got, when I got home, I said, okay, let me just test it out. It, and I really don't like that. I, when I squeezed it out, the liquid was coming out first. So the product had separated and I was like, yeah, no. So I just had a, um, I signed up for that uh, same day delivery. So I said, okay, let me pick up the bigger one because it has a pump and let's see how it comes out to test that. So I'm going to see how this works, especially if it works well under makeup. Uh, we'll see how these go. Well, we'll see. I'm going to return this because I don't, I didn't like what was going on. We'll see how this goes. Ciao, this video is long. These are my recommendations. I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning, but the uh, all Sephora products for everyone are 30% off. And that's usually when I load up on my products. Um, I know uh, these are, they're not clean, but I was just talking about the, I was talking about the pop of color. These I've been using for a very long time. This color, do I have it here? This is it next to the, um, the one from Kosas, as you can see, it's a little bit brighter. I, I wore it, I actually wore it this week. So um, if you, you know, don't care about uh, clean, non-clean, what have you, these are really, really good. I'm actually, this is end of life, so I'm actually gonna pick up another one. I picked, because I wanted to compare it. Uh, so I'll pick up another one, because this one gives more of an everyday, and you can see it's like teal, darker. This one is when you wanna, you know, because this week I had on like a whole gold headband. I was, I was trying to be flamboyant, okay? Anywho, uh, I also I went to the store yesterday and picked up, this was one of my favorites for years now. This is, I think it's in my boyfriend's jeans. This is such a beautiful blue. And again, 30% off the Sephora products. Keeping with the Sephora products, I have talked about these uh, before. These matte lipsticks from Sephora, oh my God, these are really, really good. Now, these are, these are matte, okay? They're, yeah, it's not a soft matte. You're not gonna see a little gloss. No, these are matte, okay? Uh, my favorite is the seven, I think, number seven. I think this is a perfect, I'm not a big brown girl. I don't, not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big brown girl. Ciao, brown face, hello. I, <laughs> I, um, I don't wear a lot of browns on my lip. This is, this is like a, uh, how do you say, not a berry. It's a wine color. I love wines on my lip. Uh, I don't do a lot of browns, but this brown is, it's, I've said this before, I like to look like someone has been sucking on my lips. This, this is how this looks, like a natural, just, oh, very beautiful color. This is number seven. But all of them are uh, the dark colors. I favor the dark colors and I do have, this is a red, I think, a red or a pink. These are really, really good. And they're 30% off, so they're pretty inexpensive. Okay, this Super Goop Protect Tint, 50 uh, with an SPF of 50. This has been my ride or die, ride or die up until now and it'll probably, we, we, we're going, actually I have that on today. We, we're just gonna keep going with this, okay? If you want a two in one product, um, this is what you use, this is what I would pick up. This is a big recommendation. When I went to um, St. Vincent, this is the only thing I took because I know nobody was gonna be beating their face in that heat and it was hot, okay? I, didn't, I don't even think I carried any foundation. I just carried this and then just put on a lip gloss or whatever else, or lipstick whatever else I needed to put on. But this is a very good product. Now, um, in the 
winter months because it, it will give you a little bit of a glow. I, even still, I was using it in the summertime and just, if it needed to be, pat it down with a little bit of uh, powder. I am combination, so my T-zone gets oily. Um, so I would just pat down that area, but this is a really good product. If you just want just a little, you want that SPF coverage because we should be using SPF, okay, when we're outside, all right? If you want um, SPF, but you also want something to just, um, Give it just a little bit of an ump without having a full beat face. Amicole, okay? The, uh, this, this is the skin enhancing tint. I've recommended this to multiple people. I am shade deep too. Now, I had some kind of coupon or something before the sale started or I used like my 10, I had like $10 off or something like that. So I did purchase this before the sale. I had to re-up. And now is the time because I, 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 even though I'm combination, I cannot use this in the summer months. I'm so sorry. You would be an oily, greasy mess. But for dry skin, okay? Anywho, now is the time to use this. I love this stuff. Now, this doesn't have SPF. You know what? I should probably, listen, Ami Kole, if you're watching, maybe SPF, give us like two different options, okay? Because I think this would, oh my God, this would just be my only product, okay, that I would use. So this is a must, a love, or a recommendation. Ami Kole, this, I purchased this last, I'm sorry, I purchased this in April, still using this. This was the other product that, uh, the other Holy Grail product that I've been using throughout the summer. This is not, this is like a semi, demi, is it demi? A demi matte. Um, I used it actually this week. I've been, I've used this a lot, okay? Let me see how much I have left. In this one, I am a 240. I have never met a foundation or foundation stick that just blended within my skin. I put it on, you can't even see it, but you will get the coverage, you just can't see it, which means it's a perfect match for my skin. It's crazy. Ami listen, Ami Cole does it right, okay? Again, like I said, black owned. All right, I only have one brush. This is like my second, my, I have two in my arsenal. This is a Sephora, uh, the Sephora brand brush. I just used it today. It is multi-purpose. This is number 47. I apply my um, foundation with this. I applied some, a little bit of blush with this today. You could even get under the eyes, um, get under the eyes with a little bit of concealer if you want. This brush does everything. I don't remember the price, but right now it is 30%, I think it's 20, $30 with 30% off, but this would be my one brush recommendation because it does, it's a, a multi-use product. Rare Beauty blushes, I don't even know what to say. These are my loves. I'm still working through these. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. So, Rare Beauty blushes. A little goes a long way. These are very, very, um, why can't I remember my words, okay? I was gonna say very strong. It's not very strong. Very, very colorful, very bold. A little goes a long way. You just need a dot and then you blend it out because if you go in with too much product, you're gonna, you're gonna look like a clown, okay? Anywho, these are the ones that I use. I love peach colors. I picked up, this is more orange and then the pinky one. I don't, I'll put it in the description box what the, well, Lucky, because I don't have my glasses on. Lucky, that's the pink one. Lucky, Joy, and I started with Virtue. This is like an everyday uh, peachy color for brown skin. I think I told you guys, I said Brown Girls Unite to get this blush. This is uh, Fire Moon. It is a, I have it on today. It is a beautiful everyday blush. Oh my God, listen, we've been rocking, we've been riding, okay? Riding together, all right, for the past, when did I pick this up, April? For the past, what, five, six, I don't know, five, six months? Beautiful blush. I heard that all the blushes are really nice, but this, if you're looking for more of an every, just an everyday blush, you're not really a blush girl. I love blush. Um, I love everything beauty, but if you're looking for an everyday blush, I would highly recommend this. And last but not least, skincare. Uh, if you are over the age of, I'm gonna say 35, and you're not using retinol, what what exactly are you doing? What, what's, what's happening to your life, okay? Anyway, I have gone through a couple of retinols. I have um, settled on this Shawnee Darden. Black owned, is it black owned or minority owned? Don't remember. But I picked this up a cup during the last sale and have already went through it. I probably should get the bigger bottle. I had another coupon, so I picked this up before the sale. This is a new, this is, is this a brand new bottle? This is a brand new bottle, okay? Um, I picked this up before the sale because I had a coupon and it was more, more off, because I think it was like $10. This, is, this little one is 32, it was more off, but I really do need to invest in the bigger one. So once I get through this, which will pro this will probably take me through, I think it'll take me until April, I think. Um, once April hits, 
I will invest in the bigger one because I love this uh, retinol product. That is it for me, guys. I know it was a lot. Oh my God, I love beauty. I just, I love, I love beauty. I love fashion. Oh my goodness. Anyway, um, I know I've heard other uh, creators say that um, you can also wait uh, Black Friday is coming up, and that's when I'm going to buy. That's usually when I buy all of my hair products. Black Friday is coming up, and I uh, I think the brands, uh, these brands that I mentioned here, are offering their own percentage, and sometimes it's more off. I don't know. I don't know about that. I have never. I don't think I've ever. With the exception of Ami, Kole, and LYS, I've never gone to like a brand site to look at what they're offering. And for me, LYS and Ami, Kole, the most that I've gotten was 20% and I get 20% off the Sephora sale. So this is why I kind of stock up on my products now. But you can do so. Feel free to do so. Check up on the brands, the brands that you love um, as the holidays um, draw closer. All right, that is it for me. Let me know what you are picking up because like I said, I love beauty. I wanna know what other people uh, are using. What do you love in your skincare routine or makeup routine? Let me know down below. All right, have a blessed week and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.